All right, so we showed you how FaZe lost both of their matches. One other thing I want to chime in on, TK got their next match win over Rise Nation. So TK going 1-1, one and one, an even split on the evening. Denial 2-0, FaZe 0-2, and, and a big 2-0 from Curse. But where does where does FaZe stand in all of this? They came in with the fifth seed at the start of the night after being number four for a long time. Optic Gaming had passed them up. Now FaZe moves down to fifth. Did that O2 help drop them even further? Well, let's take a look at what we need to look out for moving forward. Here's their upcoming schedule. Starting tonight, they face off against Evil Geniuses. Tomorrow, it's Envy, the number one team. On the second, they'll also play Optic Nation, the number three team. Then they face off against Curse before finishing with another match against Envy, the number one squad. Positives of this? Four of their five games are home, so they're going to get three of the five to host. Negative, they have to play Envy twice. That's a big one there. In fact, three of the five matches are against the top three teams, if you count in Optic Nation. EG, they still have 10 games left to play, so you never know how far they can climb, especially with a big win over FaZe this evening. And Curse is working on a three-match win streak after going 2-0 last night and including their match from Monday. So FaZe, not really secure on our front page yet. We'll see where they land overall. Here's a look at our full standings at the end of last evening. Very top, we're going to see Envy once again at 27 and 9. Rise 24 and 14 after their two losses. Uh, Optic Nation 21 and 15 and 22 at 16 is Optic Gaming. FaZe... Their big lead of going positive, now it's cut down to just a three match difference, 21 and 18, with most wanted behind them at 500, 19 and 19. Page two, you're gonna notice the big change up, the only move really on this leaderboard, Denial jumping ahead of Team Caliber and Vanquish once again. They have uh, pretty similar match wins, but they have less losses than both of those squads. The team they need to look out for, in my opinion, is Evil Geniuses. If EG can go on a three-game run, they got a better record than Denial and will be higher seeded. Curse, they have some of the most games played in the league, and they sit at 17-22, and 22, but they're on a big three-game win streak. Denial, though... Really, last night was a huge statement for them after losing the 2K this past weekend. They made it to the finals, we should mention. They stopped the bleeding. They were 2-10 before this. Now they are 4-10 in their last 14 games. Curse, they had been in 11th place for a while, but this brings them to within a half match of 8th place. Yeah, just a half match. Phase 0-2 might just serve as a wake-up call to them. They remain in good shape. Their magic number is just 3 so when we look at tonight's matches, I'll explain what that means. And one big thing to note, just across the board, there's just 2.5 matches that separate 6th place from 11th place. Five of those teams play tonight, and here is the list of our matches. Those five teams on the bubble between 6 and 11, Most Wanted, Denial, Noble, Evil Geniuses, and Team Caliber all going up for the golden opportunity to improve their playoff outlook. Other major storylines, Optic Gaming could clinch a playoff spot tonight. Their magic number is two, so they need just one win, or sorry, just two wins, or they need a combination of a, a match win or a loss from Noble or Curse or Denial. Um, they could also clinch with, you know, zero match wins and two, denial, two Noble match losses. A little clarification there. So basically, Optic Gaming is going to clinch it unless they choke. Is the moral of the story. FaZe, they have an opportunity to clinch their spot. The question is, how high will their seed be? Their magic number is just three. Um, big battles going on this evening, and it all starts at 7 p.m. Let's take a look at our clinch playoffs. Here's the list. Magic numbers to look out for. Optic Gaming's lowest is two. Optic Nation and FaZe is just three. Most Wanted is five, and Denial controls their fate with six. EG, they also have the least amount of matches played. They control their fate with nine. The other teams, regardless of how many matches they win, are still mathematically in a situation where they could not make it to season three if the other two perform better than them. That's TK, 
Noble, and Curse. It's all going to come down to the math in the end, but they just need to desperately win every single match here. I think our top three teams there, Optic Gaming, Optic Nation, and FaZe are going to be safe. Denial, most wanted, I'm feeling pretty good about. My question is, who is going to get that A spot? Is it TK? Is it Curse? Is it Noble? Is it EG? Anything could happen from here on out. It's going to be an incredible evening of games. Once again, it's going to start at 7 p.m. Eastern, as always, right here on MLG.TV. I hope you guys enjoyed today's ESR. I know it's a bit short, but wanted to bring you the news. We'll give you the update tomorrow as well. And um, it's, it's going to be pretty interesting here. Let me know, guys. Who do you think is going to move on? Once again, in our top six, we got FaZe. We got Most Wanted right there on the edge of the bubble. Optic, both of their squads, Gaming and Nation. And we're going to see, of course, uh, Rise and Envy already locked in. But who's coming out in the bottom half? Denial, EG, TK, Curse, Noble. It's going to be a mess. I can't wait to see how it all pans out. I'll see you guys tomorrow right here on the ESR. Kicking things off. We got a... I believe we're going to do a GB Live, maybe a little ESR update. I'll keep you guys updated. Follow me on Twitter. I'm at MLG Puckett, and I'll see you then.